Hey, what's up, you guys? It's a guess. Uh, we're coming back. We're doing some more Kings of Clash leaderboards. So if you guys remembered, uh, we were doing In the Dark Clan Wars, and the battle was really intense. So in case you guys missed it, let's go ahead and find out how this war actually went. Let's do the results in three, two, one. Snowman, we're back. We're hog riders today. Yay! Let me take off my helmet though. Yeah, now I'm a hog rider. <laughs> this is where my town hall 10's going. This is just a nice patch of grass. Perfect for a town hall 10. I'm just gonna have lava and everything coming out of it, puppy dog. It's gonna be great. I've been working on the railroad. Oh, the live long day. Ah! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, you guys, it looks like the In the Dark clan has won this one. Now, because of the maintenance break, it erased all of our replays. However, In the Dark was nice enough to let me come into their clan and check out their uh, war stats. It looks like they're winning pretty good. The last one, there was really close, 97 to 96. But you guys, this also had no replays as well. Because of the maintenance break, it took away all the replays. Uh, the leader didn't want me to show off any of the hog tactics anyways, but they were cool enough to let me see some of the farming tactics that they got. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this and see Juggernaut from In the Dark. Let's see how he does it. Uh, he looks like he's using the Balloonion. So he's putting down two rage spells, and these, these guys are going down from the top all the way to the bottom. And he's bringing in a lightning spell to take out those archers just in case. Now the, uh, when the balloons die, they do do splash damage. So hopefully they could do enough on the expos and take those out. Now when you have a flock of minions like that, it could be dangerous but also very strong because they have pretty good uh, damage that they do. And it looks like the balloon defense that came out was already gone. Nope, here comes one more. It took out almost half of them, but everything's pretty much already gone. That's some pretty good loot. 300,000 is in his pocket. He got the heroes coming in to clean up the rest of this. I believe this could probably do a uh, three star if he's lucky enough. And that's why, this is why I think the minions are such a good troop for farming because you know, they're in the air and they do pretty good damage. They only t uh, take about two army camp spaces and they're just really good. They can stay up and clean it up. So that was in the dark. He got a one star. Whoa, what the heck? He might as well just say three star with that. <laughs> Let's go back and see what else we got. Uh, who, who else can we see? How about this one? Let's see. What is it? Chief Tau, Taunakawi. Sorry about that. I'm just so bad at pronouncing these names. And it looks like he's using the Barch. Barbs and Archers. I love it. So he's going to go ahead and take out those Mortars and the Wizard Tower. Now, Barch is really weak against splash damage weapons, so he took those out, and that should give him a little bit of leverage so that he can work his way down. Hopefully, all of the loot, and it looks like all of the loot is inside of the uh, mines and the storages on the outside. So he's taking those, and wow, it's already 30%. He's used up all of his barbs and archers, it looks like, but he has his queen. He doesn't have his king, it looks like, but he has another rage spell just in case. Now this base has been out of commission for a while. He doesn't have any elixir or dark elixir in his weapons. So it's just free game for them to get in there and take the rest of this stuff. And that should be the 50%. A lot of the loot's gone. Only 84,000 left over. You can have it. We got what we wanted and we're going to get out of here. Nice raid. Nice raid. So just cleaning up the rest of this and it should be done right now. Okay, you guys, so that's In the Dark. They're doing their thing. Really strong clan if you guys ever meet them. I'm just warning you. <laughs> They're good with the hog riders. So they pulled off a pretty good amount of three stars, and I got three stars as well. But that's all right. We take our lickings, and we keep on kicking. So, you guys, thank you for watching this. This is Gasson signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Gasson out. No man, we're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I, I was I was too much.